guys, so real quick, I just want to give a sincere thank you to everyone for taking the time to watch these videos of us riding, kids riding, Lillian learning how to ride, boys racing, me working on bikes, whatever. It's just pretty cool that people are taking the time to watch the videos and especially now when school's out, I'm getting comments. People are like, hey, I'm going through and watching your old videos and just thank you guys. Thank you so much for especially watching the old videos really helps us out a lot because it gives us more watch time which is a better rating on youtube uh more adsense and it just helps us out a lot when you guys watch older videos so thank you very much Actually, speaking of older videos, the first time we rode here at Woodland Motocross Track was one year ago. It was literally only one year ago. Mason was on a Cobra 50. And guys, I gotta tell you what, man. I just remember thinking that the track was just too much for the boys, especially Mason. It was soft, sandy, rutted. The track was worn out. He really had a hard time. I didn't I didn't know if he was having fun or not, but I just remember getting home and going through that footage and seeing him like tiptoe around the track and he was barely giving it any gas. He, I don't think his wheels got off the ground the whole time he was there. He was just struggling to make it up the jumps. I got home and looking through that footage and I was like almost, like I didn't even want to post it. I wasn't even going to put it out there for people to see. Like what would be the point? I mean, no one's ever, no one's going to want to see him struggle around a track. That's not entertaining footage. I actually cut out most of it. I mean, and what I put up that day was the best of the best, but I cut out most of it. But I was like, you know what? I, I'm going to post this and I'm going to put this out there because I knew the day would come when he would he would get better, he'd be riding better. And how he rides now is even more impressive. I mean, if, if we didn't have that footage, people would just assume that, oh, he, he always rode good, he always was, was competitive, and but now it's even more impressive because we could look back and we could see how far he's come. This is one of those jumps that you just don't realize how big it is until you walk the track. This thing is way taller than I am. Mason is sending this thing right here. Lillian was in Mason's way that time. She messed him up. See if Mason sends it to flat this time. Today is March 20th, which is a very special day because today is the deadline. Today is the very last day that you could apply to be in the KTM Junior Challenge. If you don't know what the KTM Junior Challenge is, basically it is the halftime show or the intermission show at the Supercross races. They get little kids, they give them all KTM 50s for the day, and then they do a couple laps around the Supercross track. Billion, can you shut the door? You're ruining my video. Sorry. 
The last thing I need is thumbs downs for my kids talking in the background. The KTM Junior Challenge is something that I wanted to do for Mason for a long time. I wanted to do it last year, but he wasn't fast enough. 2020, this year, is the last year that he could do it. You could only be seven or eight. He's eight right now. Next year, it won't work out. So I had this idea where we would enter him for the last round in Salt Lake City. Technically, we could have entered him sooner. He could have done like Anaheim, San Diego, Oakland. But the, the problem with that is that Mason has been getting faster and faster every single month and i'm not even joking every single time we ride he just keeps getting faster and faster so i came up with the idea where we're going to wait until the very last round of supercross to give him the most time to progress get better and improve so that he would have the best experience and that plan should have worked out exactly the way that i wanted because every single time we ride and every month he just keeps getting better and better and more comfortable and faster. But unfortunately, coronavirus or the Chinese virus as Donald Trump puts it. China. Became a reality. And now I don't know what's gonna happen. This is where we're at right now. All the future rounds of Supercross have been canceled or postponed except for the last two. The last, the second to last round is in Vegas followed by the last round is in Salt Lake City. Those two rounds at this point in time, they're still on the books. They're still scheduled. What are the chances that those get canceled too? I don't know. There's a chance that they could get canceled and there, or there's a chance that they could be pushed back. There's even talk that I've heard of them making the Monster Energy Cup in October, the last round of Supercross to decide the championship. I don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna apply anyways. We're gonna apply for Mason to ride the KTM Junior Challenge. We're gonna cross our fingers. If I would've known about coronavirus, I would've got him in sooner in the year. Hindsight is 2020, just like the year. So we're just gonna apply and we're gonna hope for the best. That's me pretending like I typed. Okay, so I just I just applied for it and it's not one of those things where you can just sit down for 15 minutes and apply to do the KTM challenge. It's kind of a lot of work. They want you to submit a birth certificate. They want you to fill out a resume, all the races that you've done over the past two years, your results, uh, any races that you've won. Luckily at this point, Mason has won a few races. Whereas if I entered for Anaheim or any race at the beginning of the season, he didn't have any wins back then. So this hopefully would increase his chances. So if you guys are interested in applying to do the KTM challenge, you have to do a little bit of work first. You have to go to a doctor and have like a physical. They want a doctor's statement saying that you are under 70 pounds and that you're above how many inches? All right, here you go. So in order to be eligible to do the KTM challenge, you have to be seven or eight years old. The rider must also be less than 54 inches. The rider must also weigh less than 70 inches. And you have to get a physical and a nurse's note stating that you fit those requirements. You also have to be an AMA member as well as a parent, which is weird. I mean, parents aren't racing, but whatever. So you gotta pay for a AMA license for your child as well as for you. You have to submit your report card. And it also states that it's your responsibility, like all travel and accommodations are responsibility of the parents, as well as if you are selected. It's a lottery, by the way, guys. They can't pick everybody, so you submit and then they will randomly pick whoever they want to do the KTM challenge. And if you are picked, then it costs $300. Uh, and that $300 goes to $300 entry fee must be received at least five days. I don't, I don't know, they don't say what it's for. It's an entry fee. So you're paying basically to maybe for the mechanic or I, I don't know. You do get to keep the gear. I think it's Troy Lee design gear, if I remember right, that every all the kids wear the same gear. You get you do get to keep that, which is like, uh, if, we, if we win it, we'll probably just give it away. We'll do that. If Mason enters and gets approved to do this, we'll like have him sign the jersey and send it to somebody. And, and same thing with the pants and, and stuff. We already got Moto Loco gear. We don't need the Troy Lee design gear. And it also states that no food or beverages will be provided so bring enough supplies blah 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 blah. there's a lot to it but anyways guys so like i said we entered mason into this challenge hopefully he gets picked if he does get picked hopefully the races don't get canceled there's no prize money there's no sponsorship there's no bragging rights or anything it would just be a cool experience 
for Mason. And also, I mean, it'd, it'd be cool footage too, right? For the, for the channel. So if you guys know anybody at KTM, if you can pull any strings, see what you could do, try to get us in. And then I promise we'll give away the gear when we're done. Mason, I didn't want to like pass you too hard because I didn't want to take one of us out. Oh, yeah, really yeah. like I know, but when you pass me, and now I once I passed you, I kind of <laughs> took off. Once you passed, <laughs> I, I passed. Oh.